Hey there, my name is Nicole Young and in this video I'm going to talk a little bit about Lightroom profiles. So I'm inside of the develop module and I'm going to head over to the basic panel and make sure I can see it. At the top of this panel is a profile dropdown. If I click on this dropdown here I can see the profile that I have applied as well as some of the other profiles. But if I click over on the right on this little grid, a different panel appears, and this is the profile browser. Most of the time when I'm applying profiles, I'm usually going to apply a camera matching profile. This is a Fujifilm photograph, so I have all of the Fujifilm profiles available here. And if I hover over one of these profiles, it shows me a preview over in that preview browser of what that profile will do once I click it. At the very top of this list is a favorites dropdown. By default, it has the Adobe profiles, but I'm actually going to unfavorite all of these and I'm going to add some of my own. So here instead of camera matching, I'm going to add some of the profiles that I like to use the most. So now I can access those profiles a little bit more easily than having to go down into that camera matching dropdown. There are also some default presets down here that are going to add a little bit more of a stylistic look. Now here's a little bit of trivia for you. I actually created the modern presets that you see here inside of Lightroom. So I'm going to go ahead and just apply one of these real quickly. So I'll click on Modern 6. Another setting that you have inside of this browser is the ability to change the amount of whichever profile you apply. At the very top there's an amount slider and it usually defaults right in the middle at 100. But if you scroll it to the right or left, you can either increase or decrease the intensity of that profile. I'm going to reset it, so I'll just double click that amount and it'll go back to 100. You also have the ability to download and import profiles from other artists. I have a few of them here inside of this install of Lightroom. This first one, the Nicole Z Contempo Pack, these are actually free presets that you can access over on my blog. It requires a newsletter sign up. I'll go ahead and include the link in the description. And another one of my packs here is a teal and orange pack. Just has a bunch of different variations of teal and orange. These profiles are separate from the presets that you'd see in the preset panel. So they're going to apply the profile, but it's not going to change any of the settings such as tone and color, etc. Now what these profiles are is they're LUT files. They are basically just LUT files that have been formatted to work inside of Lightroom. I'm going to go ahead and close that browser. And now if I go back over to my profile dropdown, previously I only had the Adobe profiles there, but because I removed all of those Adobe profiles from the favorites and added some of my own favorites, those favorites are now appearing here in this dropdown. So it's a lot easier for me to select the profile that I want to use, especially when I have some that I use over and over.